Hello Facebook, my name is Maria Fernandez and I am an herbalist and today I want to share one of the nourishing infusions that I drink. Um, there's a couple of them and the one I'm drinking today is Red Clover Blossom. I'm not sure if you have seen Red Clover Blossom out. It's a very common weed. It's usually in your yard or when you're about walking. It's purple and I don't know if you've ever um, done it, but you could actually take the blossom and take out the petals and suck on it because it's sweet. Yes, it's sweet. Um, you could actually make um, honey from Red Clover Blossoms and you'll always see bees go to it, right? Um, so what are the benefits from drinking nourishing herbal infusions such as red clover blossom? Well, if you're a woman who's trying to be fertile and get pregnant, this will help you um, in that journey. Um, it's a good fertility uh, nourishing herbal infusions. Usually cows that are lactating or um, carrying babies, that's what they're given. So if cows are eating red clover blossoms, not that animals have the same symptoms as our as our body in humans but it's safe you know and so red clover another reason why I drink red clover blossom nourishing infusion is because it's an anti-cancer it helps prevent cancer so um, and it helps prevent cancer of the breast and um, prostate cancer and the reason why is because um, red clover has phytosterols phytosterols is it, it mimics estrogen in the body and, and and it gets very tricky because people think estrogen is bad it causes cancer but it actually mimics estrogen in the body in a good way um unlike soy soy is really bad you should not be using soy i would say avoid soy at all cost okay because soy is not good estrogen for you the reason red clover um, blossom is also great is for women who are dealing with like menopause hot flashes it will quell that and also um, red clover is just really good for anybody who has like eczema and skin like um, acne like cyst it helps you with that um, one thing I would like to say is that it's a blood purifier, so it makes like the blood a little thinner. So if you um, are drinking like um, anticoagulants, like Coumadin and so forth, medications like that, I wouldn't suggest it. Or if you like going into surgery, I wouldn't drink it because since it, it has um, the probability of like thinning your blood out, you might have to be careful there. So definitely consult with your herbalist friend or doctor or naturopath before um, going into red clover if you do have some blood disorder condition okay I know certain things are natural and healthy and yet for somebody like my mom like she takes Coumadin right <clears throat> and she can't have kale it's, it's like what kale is a, a vegetable like what do you mean you can't have kale and because kale has something in it that is just, it's like they contradict each other so go figure you know we just have to like kind of know what's good and bad for ourselves and experience it right like what works for you might not work for other people and um yeah so red clover if i like it just the way it is some people put mint in it to make it taste better but i think it tastes delicious and so give it a try and thank you for watching have a beautiful day